What's up YouTube, it's your boy FC The Truth and we're back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to know exactly what your temperature of your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, whatever MacBook you have, you're gonna know exactly what the temperature of the trackpad is, the battery, the SSD, how fast your fans are running. If you don't have fans, how hot your system is getting. I'm gonna show you all that, stay tuned. All right, so like I was saying, a lot I've been getting a lot of questions about like people are wondering, they're like, hey, what's this like temperature? How do you get the temperature on your Mac? How are you able to see the temperature or how hot your Mac is? And this is how I'm doing it. I have the TG Pro temperature monitor and fan control uh app and it's by a company called tuna belly software and they're really dope they make a lot of different apps but this is to me this is their best one and they updated it to apple silicon so it's arm 64 it's ready to go it's going to work on your macbook pro it's going to work on your m1 macbook pro your m2 macbook pro your m2 macbook air so all your m1 and M2 products is gonna work, and even your Intel Max. So, what I'm on right now is a MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro. So, go up here and click on it, and you can see it's gonna say system, and right now my fans are off. And the reason that the fans are off is because I'm not really running that much. Right now I got iMessages going, I have Google Chrome going. So I just got Chrome and iMessages and that's it. Like I don't have Photoshop running. I don't have uh, Logic Pro X running. So that's why you don't see the fans. And it's and what's so dope about this software is it's showing you the temperature of the cores you know, it's showing uh, the temperature of your GPU cores, your performance cores. It's showing the temperature of your battery, your battery gas gauge, um, airflow, left and right. These should be kind of parallel mostly. So 60, uh, 30, I mean 36, 36. So it might fluctuate 37 on the right a little bit, but that's what I mean. You can check the temperature even of your trackpad. How hot is your trackpad? How hot is your SSD drive? And that's 36. So everything is pretty much pretty cool, cool as can be. <laughs> so my MacBook Pro is chilling right now. But let's say it was overheating. I was running tons of programs. Okay, I can manually with this software. Uh, rev up my fans. I hit max and um, my my fans turn on. Now I wouldn't really run this because this is on this is like your fans running at full speed. Like it's literally so loud um, because you know they're they're running at full speed. Now normally if you're if you just got a couple programs going your macbook is going to gradually get hotter and your fans are going to turn on but they're going to turn on a very low speed so the only thing i wish this program could do hopefully they'll uh, do this in an update or something it would be cool to have like a lower speed fan setting where like maybe i just want the fans on even though they don't need to be on probably, but let's say I just want to run them at a low speed. So you got max, but hopefully they'll they'll uh, put in low. That would be dope. Like you have like, cause max and auto max is the same. It's gonna, it's just gonna pump your, uh, it's just gonna make your fans run at their max capacity. But it's good to check and make sure. And now if you're wondering, okay, look, I got a M1 I got an M1 MacBook Air, or I got an M2 MacBook Air. So you're thinking, what does this have to do with me? So a lot of times, because you're, you're a MacBook Air, I actually actually uh, sold my, I had an M2 
MacBook Air that I canceled or order I canceled and previously I had an M1 MacBook Air. So I'm pretty, I, I know enough about MacBook Airs, especially the M1 MacBook Air, that was like my baby. So I did all my photo editing, all my music production on a MacBook Air M1. And the thing about that is when the MacBook Air gets hot, you're more, you're even more concerned because you don't have a fan. It's no fan, it's fanless. So you're wondering, is this dangerous temperatures? Is this normal? I mean, it's, it's, it's hot in my lap. I can't put it on my lap. I can't, you know, so uh, this program is super helpful for that. So you wouldn't see the fan section because I'm assuming you wouldn't see the fan section because like you don't have any fans or if it, if you do have a fan section, it's not gonna be activated, but it will show you all your temperatures of your cores, GPU cores, your memory, uh, battery temperature, all of that. So you know exactly how warm your MacBook Air is getting. So let's say, let's say you think it's getting too hot. You can screenshot your temperature and then you can bring you can send that to Apple via chat, or you can bring your MacBook in and show them and say, look, look, look at the temperature. Look how hot this thing's running. It's as hot to the top of touch. You know, now most, most MacBook Airs, they're designed where, you know, the airflow flows in a certain way where it's not going to get hot like that. It shouldn't get extremely hot, but some MacBook Airs do, you know, some units get too hot, but this is the perfect program to show you, hey, this is getting too hot. This is a problem. Instead of assuming that it's too hot, at least you got actual numbers, actual data to go off of and say, hey, it's 50 degrees, it's 80 degrees. Hey, this is 120 degrees right now. This is way too hot, 130 degrees. So especially if you're not running a lot of programs, you might be concerned like, hey, this is, a, this is pretty hot and I'm not really running much. So like genius, genius program. Um, the pricing on it, I believe it's, uh, they had like a 50% off deal. Oh, here we go, here we go. So the price is gonna be, it was $20. It's on sale for 50% off. So you save 50% and if you buy right now, it's $10. It's probably even cheaper with an educational discount, but you're, you know, if you're not, uh, if you don't have one of those, $10. That is great. I mean, come on. You're gonna sp spend $10 on like a sandwich at Wendy's, Burger King. <laughs> so it's like, that's not, that's not crazy that for, for what this program does that is a perfect price point. So uh, I advise everybody that has a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air to at least try out the trial version. Cause that, before I bought this, I had a trial version cause I just wanted to see like, is it worth like, at the time it was even $20. So I was like, is this really worth $20? But now it's even cheaper, it's $10. So definitely snatch that up. Um, if you're wondering if this works on iPad, um, it does not work on iPad right now. So this is just for your Macs. But it also works, it should work on uh, Mac Pros, desktop Macs as well. So if you got uh, M1 Mac, like desktop Mac, uh, that this could be useful as well. So yeah, don't wanna hold you, too, hold you up too much. That's all I got. If you got any more questions, put them in the comments. I'll get to them. I'll always get to them. So uh, let me know. Until the next one, I'll see you. Peace.